you know, there are a lot of wolves out there today, and, and in my lifetime, I'm 47 years old, I don't remember a, a time where I've seen lawlessness like I see today. I've seen riots where they would riot over things uh, that maybe were political in nature. Now the riots just seem to be fake and an excuse to loot, rob, and steal. Uh, it's a dangerous time for us in America, isn't it? There's no doubt about that. And as you've seen in some of those instances in Charlotte, you know, in Baltimore, where good law-abiding people got caught up in the middle of it, maybe driving through the neighborhood, driving uh, on their way home or whatever, and then, then they get attacked uh, and they're in, the, in the middle of these things. So you're right, it is a ruse. This is an anarchist movement, and that is nothing more than a front for uh, subversive activity. So, you know, it's, it's probably why, in, in addition to some other things, that Donald Trump was able to uh, win the presidency. He ran on a law and order campaign. You know, one of the highlights of the Republican National Convention was Make America Safe Again. He supports the American police officer. He is nominated to be the next attorney general, a man, Senator Jeff Sessions, who's very supportive of police, understands the need for law and order, understands the dynamic world that police officers uh, have to operate in. Look, this is not a perfect world for us. Sometimes mistakes are made, and then sometimes people, very seldom fortunately in America, people step outside the the uh, the policies and the code of conduct that we set for these people, it's a higher standard. When that happens, we have to take care of it. That's my job as a law enforcement executive. Find people in this profession that are not a good fit and get rid of them so that we can maintain the public trust.